Hey guys, so I did a video yesterday about what happens when a client annoys you and how to not respond to it. Um, and that kind of reminded me of another topic that I wanted to touch bases on. And it's regarding your pricing and what happens when a client emails you and tells you that your pricing is out of their budget. I know usually when you get an email like this, you are kind of like, eek, you know, your heart kind of sinks a little bit because you're like, man, I really wanted to book that client. Or, you know, maybe you really needed the money and you really, you know, want to book that client. So the response is, or the immediate response is you kind of send back an email saying you have a special going on or you know you're gonna willing to drop your pricing or you're willing to throw something in free to get that client um, because you really want to get that session for whatever reason it is but that really is a mistake um, and it's the wrong way to handle that situation and I see so many photographers do this so first off by doing that you are devaluing your work you know and and second um, you're setting a precedent for like other transactions that might happen between you and that client later on in the future. Basically, you're already telling them that you're willing to bend your studio policies and bend your rules for them. So what happens later on if they become a little bit more of a picky client, you know, and they know that you're willing to, to do those things. So then they start asking for a little bit more and you start bending a little bit more. And then to the point where if you say no, then they will be like, well, why? Because you did it already for me. Um, you know, these kind of things, even though it's already a beginning of the inquiry um, is a really a red flag kind of item uh, and you shouldn't you know reward a customer for not doing anything to be rewarded for so Salson kind of talks a lot about you know rewarding your good clients and punishing your bad ones um, now I don't really believe like in punishing them um, I just I just mean that you know your clients that don't give you a lot of trouble, who don't hassle you about pricing, who have really smooth transactions, those are the clients that deserves your rewards. So for me, anytime I have a really great client that I want referrals from, you know, I tend to give them a little bit extra because they were a really great client to begin with, you know, and I know that, you know, that I other people who are, I want other people that are gonna be like them. So that's what I mean by rewarding your good clients. You shouldn't you know, give extra things to clients that have bad behavior uh, because that really just encourages them to continue their bad behavior. Uh, and I truly believe in that. Um, so don't do that, you know, you, you, your client that is asking for a reduction in price hasn't done anything to deserve a reduction in price. Um, so and then another thing is that you have to learn how to value your work, you know? So usually when this happens to me, I just, you know, take a breather because sometimes, you know, like I said, you know, you want to get that client to so like, you want to send that response right away, you know? And like the vlog that I said yesterday, you know, it's okay sometimes just to kind of wait on an email, just to kind of collect your thoughts and see how you want to respond. Now, I'm not saying that there is no exception to this rule. Sometimes there are clients out there that you're like, yes, you know, I really want to shoot you and I'm willing to do it at your budget or whatever. Um, and if that if that's the way you feel after a few hours or, you know, that night when you're sitting down on your computer to answer all your emails, then, then go ahead and email them back and say you'll do it. Um, but if you really feel like in your heart that, you know, it's not really worth it, then, you know, I would, for me, what I usually do is I'll send the back of the response saying, you know what, I apologize, I'm not within your budget, I understand, you know, that not everybody can, you know, spend this amount of money. Um, and then I, I will basically say, you know, I base my pricing off of my time and my talent, um, and my pricing is very competitive based off of these things. And then start listing the things that you're really great at and why you deserve to be or why you charge the way you charge. So for me, I say things like, you know, I've been experiencing boudoir for over six years. I am really, really great at posing. I have great turnaround time. I have awesome reviews and my clients love their pictures. Uh, you know, so things like that really sets yourself apart from the person that um, might be charging a little bit less than you. And then it makes them kind of rethink why they're doing this shoot in the first place and what they're actually spending their money on. So just really good example, okay? I go to this gym here in Sacramento and it's kind of more, a little bit more of an expensive gym than say an other gyms. Um, and I only chose that gym because it has a great daycare area and I wouldn't take my kids anywhere else because you know, I would be afraid that, you know, they wouldn't be well taken care of. While some of my other girlfriends feel like it's really expensive, I always say, well, you know what? You're not going to this gym because of pricing. You're going for peace of mind. And so that's why I, what I mean by when they, when you're sending back an email telling them about what is really great about your studio, it really makes them rethink about what they're really booking and why they're booking you. Um, and the last two times I have sent an email like that, you know, the client has sent, came back and said, yes, you know what, I still want to book with you regardless of the price because they're 
at that point, they're not booking based on price. They're booking based on the experience and you wanna make sure that you tell them why it's gonna be a great experience. Um, and you know what? The last reminder is that sometimes you just don't need to book a client that's not gonna value your work and sometimes not every client is your client. I know you hear this all the time, but you know, making a couple hundred dollars off one client that doesn't value you or is not your client, it's just so stressful and so much more of a headache. You know, so save yourself that stress and headache and use that time to really market yourself to clients that really are gonna be great clients that you really do wanna reward. Um, so it all kinda of comes full circle. All right, um, so yeah, that's it. I hope that gives you a little bit of insight on what to do when you, know, you get those type of inquiries. I hope to be doing a lot more videos soon. I will talk to you next time. Bye.